Good afternoon everyone. Um, I figured I would do something a little different this time and I'm doing my movie review in the living room. And this is my big toy collection right here. As you can tell, I am obsessed with stuffed animals. I have lots and lots of them. So tonight I'm going to be doing a review on Wolf of Wall Street, directed by Martin Scorsese and starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Jonah Hill. Uh, no, this film does not have anything deep or profound to say. And yes, it has more debauchery, uh, swearing, sexuality, and hardcore drinking than I've ever seen. But in spite of that, it's a very funny um, satire. Um, you cannot take the film seriously. It is based on a true story. I'm just going to take this hat off because it's a little sweaty. But um, it does not take the material seriously. Like, it totally pokes satirical fun and everything to do with Jordan Belfort, um, who was a guy who ran a trading firm on Wall Street, and still does to this day, and he had a crazy wild ride to the top. Um, it's wildly entertaining, just looking at my notes here, and so funny that I almost died from laughing. I mean, I have never seen a film that's this funny. Um, like, I was in hysterics. I mean, it depends on if you're into satire. If you're not a satire lover, you might, you know, not, might not like this. It's a very black comedy, so... Um, the movie moves forward at breakneck speed and brilliant script writing. I mean... The script of this film is amazing. Every single line in it is just genius in this. Um, and it just never stops moving. There's an incredible kinetic energy to the film. That even though it's uh, about three hours long, it really does not feel that long. It's um, just because it's so fast paced and you're just, I was riveted the whole time I was watching it. Um, there's some slight shifts in tone every now and then, but other than that, it's, it's well worth every moment. So. Uh, Belfort lives it up in every sense of the word. Drugs, hookers, crazy parties, expensive restaurants, you name it. He is charismatic, charming, and brilliant, and you can't help but fall in love with him, even though he is a douchebag in many ways. Um, he just lives it up, you know, he uses money to buy everything um, that he's ever wanted. Um, but he does donate to charities, too, you find out in the film, so he's not a total douchebag. Um, but he definitely lives a lifestyle that would kill a lot of ordinary people. Like, like it's a wonder the man is still alive after watching everything he goes through in this film. Um, Leonardo is incredible in the film. Um, totally on fire in his performance. I've never seen an actor give such an intense and aggressively funny performance. Um, he just really you know, explodes on screen. There's no other way to describe Leonardo in the film. Leonardo has always been a very intense actor, and this is the most intense performance I've ever seen him give, and also by far the funniest. Um, uh, the film is a total satire, and it works. There is just no way this would have worked with a more serious script, like I said, because um, if it was too serious, you would not want to watch it. Um, a lot of people say it uh, is a very immoral film, <laughs> but it depends on how you think of morality, and not all films are meant to have a moral, um, you know, center to them. The film is just honest. It shows Jordan Belfort for what he is and uh, the kind of life that he had. Um, I'm sure he's toned it down quite a bit now that he's gotten older, but, um, you know, the word party does not even begin to describe his lifestyle. Like, it's beyond that. Um, He's a stockbroker who's very good at what he does and takes all his associates with him on a crazy thrill ride. Um, overall, the film is an exercise in bad taste and could have done with a few trims here and there. And uh, Belfort certainly relish, relishes in the high life that his wealth affords him. Uh, also, there's some surprisingly emotional moments in the film as well. Um, one moment, don't want to give too much away, but when he's talking to his associates after they've had all the success, and, um, it's just really emotional. Like, I found myself moved almost to tears by it. Um, he genuinely loves his associates, even though they party it up, and, you know, they probably have to refurnish the whole office when they have a party, because it just 
there would be every kind of human body fluid and stain and, you know, <laughs> imaginable all over the whole office after one of their parties, so. Um, but he does get what's coming to him, Belfort. Like, when you live a lifestyle that's that reckless, I mean, he works hard, Belfort, but he parties harder. And when you live a life with excess like that, eventually it's going to catch up to you. And uh, that certainly happens for Belfort in the film. Uh, his lifestyle does catch up with him, let me tell you. I'm not going to say how, um, but he's... Um, I can't remember the name of the actress playing his wife, but she's an incredibly gorgeous woman, but there's really nothing going on in here with this woman. I mean, she is actually ugly when you really think about it. Uh, she gave an extraordinary performance. Um, pretty much the shallowest character I've ever seen, the woman playing his wife in this, his second wife. Um, his first wife genuinely loved him and cared about him, but um, his second wife's basically taken him for a ride. And I don't want to give too much away, so that's all I'm going to say about it. Uh, the movie seems to leap off the screen into your face. And, um, like, in the best way. I mean, I've never seen a film like this from Martin Scorsese. Um, like, I've never, <laughs> I've never seen him take a film this far like you know he's always been a little risque i guess but this is as, as risque as it comes uh the movie broke the world record for the most swear words in a movie um after scarface i believe um i can't remember how many times the f word is said but i think it's over 500 and not only the f word but every other kind of uh you know swear word you can imagine is said in the movie it's basically f this f, f that through the whole movie so if you're sensitive to swearing, you don't like to hear people cuss, you might not want to see the movie. Um, it's just a really great entertaining movie. I mean, it just tells it like it is. You know, what really goes on in Wall Street and, um, you know, <laughs> the corruption of Wall Street, especially in the 80s, which is the movie is set in. And, um doesn't sugarcoat anything, but at the same time, does not take itself seriously at all. Um, it's a total satire. It's pretty much my third favorite satire of all time, after um, American Psycho, which is my first favorite satire, and A Clockwork Orange, which is my second. And I gotta review those movies at some point. But it's third on the list is one of the, I think, one of the best satires of all time. And, um, <clears throat> you know, it's not a movie for everyone, but um, if you're a very modest person and easily shocked, then the movie might be too much for you. But if you're open-minded and you're just looking for a really great, hilarious, entertaining film that's totally shameless, I highly recommend Wolf of Wall Street. It's one of Martin Scorsese's best films. Um, don't think it really deserved to win Best Picture. You know, 12 Years a Slave deserved it. But... Um, the fact that it got nominated is pretty cool, you know, not a lot of comedies get nominated for Best uh, Picture, so that was quite an achievement. And it would have been nice to have seen Leonardo to get the Oscar, but after seeing, uh, you know, Dallas Buyers Club, I can totally understand why Matthew McConaughey got it. And I'll re be reviewing Dallas Buyers Club at some point. I've been seeing so many movies lately that I just haven't had time to review them all, and I've been really busy with my social life and everything else I'm doing, so... Uh, so, Wolf of Wall Street, yeah, I highly recommend it. Um, it's even better if you uh, have a few drinks while you're watching it and maybe even, you know, you smoke a little weed or whatever you want to do. Um, it's a really fun movie and uh, one of the most entertaining films from last year. So, have a good afternoon and a good evening, and I'll be doing another review for you guys very soon. Good night, good afternoon, goodbye.